Hi, my name is Lee Michael Pronko, and I'm part of a team that has been working on an application called Milieu. And Milieu is a piece of civic technology that connects citizens to urban planning and development with the goal of empowering them to be part of uh, the design and construction of their cities and as well as making better evidence-based decision making for infrastructure priorities. Um, so part of this project is to keep people informed about events or uh, new applications that are of uh, buildings that are being built and help them participate in a number of ways such as voting, uh, commenting on sites or participating in design charrettes. Um, the long-term goal is to empower citizens to feel that they're part of the process of designing and building their city and feeling connected to their city. Um, and we are working uh, at the Center for Urban Research and Education here at Carleton, uh, as well as the Social Innovation Center uh, in Collab 10X Design. So let's find new ways that we can engage our citizens in the built environment. So in Canada, between 17 to 23 percent of children, young children, don't get their routine vaccinations. That's things like measles, whooping cough, very contagious diseases. So we're approaching a point where herd immunity is totally compromised within the population. And for things like flu shots, this is even worse. Fewer than a third of Canadians actually get their flu shot every year. So we wanted to look at whether or not we could predict which individuals are at highest risk of not getting vaccinated based on traits like whether or not they have young children, where they live in the country, and their um, demographic and behavioral characteristics. My name's Kevin and I'm Arden's partner and we wanted to build a classification model that would work across all age groups. In older populations, these are individuals that are at higher risk for adverse health effects should they get infected. And so we want our model to be able to identify those individuals that were at risk of not getting vaccinated. We can get this right 80% of the time. On the converse, in younger populations, we want to identify those individuals that have already been vaccinated. And our model can actually identify those individuals with 96% accuracy. And so in this way, our model is able to capture all age groups throughout Canada. And we have a model that can be used by the Canadian government, should they want it, to effectively promote health vaccination throughout all age groups in Canada.